That's awesome. Now, speaking of 2K, we got a pretty cool announcement. I love playing 2K. And so what we're going to do is going to have a tournament. I'm going to get two guys to play with me, and I think we're going to beat up on some people and have a little fun with them. How is your trash talk game in 2K? Because we're going to have a little friendly rivalry going on right here. My trash talk game is real nice. Made me feel like my old days when I was on the court. That's why I had to get my fellas. Awesome. Well, Chris Weber, we are so excited to partner with you. This is going to be a lot of fun. And thank you so much for joining us here. Thanks a lot, Chris. I appreciate it, man. Shout Hey everyone, and welcome to the WNBA on 2K Sports. And tonight, we'll see the New York Liberty as they go up against the Atlanta Dream. With analysts Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you with us. And both of these teams love to push it. Tim, what are some things that all great fast break teams have in common? Great defense. That's the first thing. You have to force turnovers. You also have to pass the ball well, get it up the court. Obviously, it doesn't hurt to have some fast players, too. And just as important is knowing when to run. You know, pushing it is great, sure. But doing it in the wrong situation can lead to turnovers. And doing it too fast can turn it over, too. I'm sure that wasn't the shot they had in mind there, but they'll take it. Montgomery outside. Pass to Breland. Hayes. Shot clock at five. That one doesn't drop. Great D that time from Tina Charles. 13 feet out. Nurse with it, covered by McCautry. Nurse outside. Foul call that time on the way up, and that'll give her two chances at the free throw line. Top 10 pick out of Connecticut. Kia Nurse comes from a family of athletes. Her, her father played pro football, her mother hockey. She's a great competitor growing up with sports in her family. She knocks down the first one. And she makes both free throws. Here's Montgomery. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. Here's Hayes. Atlanta gets it back. And yep, it's good. Phenomenal effort. Breland creates scoring chances for herself by relentlessly working on the offensive glass. Now here's Boyd. Pass to Charles. Durr. From downtown, off to a good start as she hits her first shot attempt. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Now McCautry. And it's Renee Montgomery penetrating. Hayes. Call out the screen! Call out the screen! On the wing, Angel McCautry. Four on the clock. The rebound by the Liberty. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the rim. Well, good defense in the paint. Worth its weight in gold. It absolutely is. And we just saw it right there, didn't we? Without her presence, that's an easy two points. Back to Montgomery. Don't forget the clock, man. Over Durr. Excellent D there from Asia Durr. A shaky first few minutes, five attempts with only one make. 
Outside Boyd. Outside Charles. Back to Boyd. Here's the three. With the second effort. And it's Asia Durr again missing. Montgomery outside. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. That one on Durr. That is not the player you want to send to the charity stripe. Montgomery is a consistently efficient free throw shooter. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. Montgomery. Two shots. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Home court advantage has always been huge, but lately we're seeing some teams opt for rest and health instead. Only the true top elite teams can opt for rest. It's a luxury and a reward for playing well earlier in the season. You take care of business early, you earn some rest. Absolutely, but most teams are still battling for home court and they're battling for their place in the standings. A two-time WNBA champion, Montgomery has had quite the career in this league. Asia Durr on the wing, covered by McCautry. Nurse outside. Over Breland, that's in, and she found her range with that one. Now one for two. You don't see a ton of shots from this area anymore. However, Nurse does work on her mid-range game. Pass to Hayes. Here's Coates. Reeland, great positioning on the putback. And that's some gritty work on the offensive glass. Coach has got to be happy. New York in the lead. Outside Boyd, now Nurse. They swipe it, Hayes with it, and Nurse picks her up defensively. And it's Hayes missing. That's a surprise, out of character for her to miss those when the D's not right in her face. Outside Boyd, Durr. Pass to Boyd, it's stolen by Breland. Outside Hayes. Montgomery. Back to Hayes. Solid shot from a distance of about 14 feet. Her first make, and maybe that'll get her going. Now here's Boyd. Montgomery covering. Nurse outside. Outside Charles. Boyd. Shot clock at three. Launches it. Offensive rebound. It's good on the putback. Well, she's top 10 all time in O boards. Charles has been doing it for years, turning misses into makes. And it's Renee Montgomery penetrating. Pass to Coates. McCautry outside. Shot off. Amanda Zowie B with the defensive effort. Outside Durr. Outside Boyd. Left side Charles. Outside Durr. Over Breland. Durr shot is off. Well, you have to like the work in the boards here in the first. Yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy. Kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Boom. The only tough part of that basket was establishing position inside. Out, the rest was easy. Timeout called the Liberty.
so it's New York with it. Johannes defended by Bentley. Hartley outside. Let's it go from deep. And the Liberty get it back. Zowie B gets the bucket. Coach has always told me that if you battle for offensive rebounds, you're guaranteed a high quality shot on the follow, just like she got there. Now here is Bentley. On the wing, Angel McCautry. She's guarded by Wright. Shot clock at six. And the shot is good. A high volume score with the sound perimeter shot. McCautry causes so many problems for defenders. Pass to Zowie B. Gray. Johannes. Defended by Bentley. Here's Johannes. The three ball. Elizabeth Williams with the rebound. Atlanta trailing here. Sykes right side. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. And so it's New York with it. Pass to Johannes. Here's Gray. And here is Wright. Back to Zowie B. Here's Johannes. Connects from three-point range. Now here is Bentley. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Poked away. Floats one. No luck on that one. And New York will come the other way. It's Tanisha Wright on the wing. To the inside. Williams with the steal. 16 feet out. Kept alive by Atlanta. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. With tremendous handles and ways to score, Sykes is so difficult to stop. No choice but to send her to the line sometimes. That's her first trip to the line. Brittany Sykes. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. The fourth overall pick by Atlanta in 2017. Brittany Sykes has uh, been brought in to do one thing, score, and she has provided a punch. So she gets them both. New York leading. Here's Johannes. Pass to Hartley. Now here's Gray. Here's Johannes. She's guarded by Sykes. Johannes shot is off. Down low. The shot goes down and it gets this game back to even. Well, with the detailed offensive prowess and a determined competitive drive, McCautry is pretty much a walking bucket. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Sykes. That is her first foul of the game. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Partly good. Yeah, whether by design or by accident, that was a very high quality shot they created. McCautry with it. Six points for her. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. It's the Liberty. They lead by a bucket. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And off we 
go. A close game now entering the second quarter. And taking a look at the Liberty performance here. Guys, what are your thoughts? I love the effort on the glass right out of the gate from them. And it takes effort from all five players to get a rebounding advantage like this. And so here's Atlanta, trailing by two. Hey, yo, right here, sure. To the paint, Williams. No good there. Amanda Zowie B with the defensive effort. To the middle. Hartley's shot is off. And here is Sykes. And she drops in the layup off glass. This is when Sykes is at her best. Attacking, going fiercely at the hoop. Pass to Zowie B. Gray. Hartley outside. Six on the shot clock. Here's right. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Now here is Sykes. D right on her. McCautry outside. Pass to Sykes. Inside. Here's Billings. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Brittany Sykes. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. And I know nobody likes a traffic jam, but this defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Yeah, nobody likes a traffic jam. We can agree on that. They can't allow the offense to get those high quality looks inside. Here's how we be. Pass to Johannes. To the right side. Hartley outside. Bentley with the rebound. Atlanta leading. McCautry outside. Back to Bentley. Sykes outside. Shoots over right. Sykes, no good. Right outside. Pass to Johannes. Foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. Well, you allow someone to get to the rim like that, and really that's your only option. Yeah, free throws are always better than a layup. I would agree with that. And this is her first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. So both teams making some changes here. That's also good, so she hits them both. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played. Down low. And that one's good, Hayes. An unselfish, solid passer. Montgomery is always looking for the open teammate, and that's what I love about her game. Now here's Nurse. Over Hayes. And again, it's the Liberty missing. Well, that's just not a sight you see very often because she has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when she's open. Here's Johannes. Montgomery covering. Outside Durr. Shoots from 12. Here's Charles. Count it. It's pretty common to see her put up double digits rebounding. Tina Charles lives cleaning up the glass. She'll be shooting her first free throw of the game. And 
they now lead as the free throw drops for her. Well, Tina Charles has had lots of great years in the league, but 2012 was arguably her finest. Charles averaged a double-double, garnering MVP honors for Connecticut. Here's Billings. Pass to Coates. Five to shoot. Back to Montgomery. Let's the three fly. That one, no good. Good work defensively by Brittany Boyd. Yeah, for Charles in 2012, winning MVP in just her third year in the league. And guys, she carried Connecticut, leading the team in points, rebounds, and blocks. And she helped the Sun finish 25-9, and owning the best record in the East. It's been one of those days for her. She's really struggled. Pass to Hayes. Back to Montgomery. Sykes outside. Shot from the top of the key. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Liberty. Where was she going with that pass? I have no clue. That, that's awful. That's just giving it away. New York leading. Take it, take it. Hey, yo, right here. Now Boyd. Pass to Durr. Charles with it. Takes the three, and Kia Nurse gets the three. A very nice rhythm to her shot. Nurse is not someone you want to, to start hitting threes. They can come in bunches when she gets going. Here's Billings. Here's Coates, guarded by Durr. Montgomery outside. To the paint. Here's Coates. The rebound by the Liberty. Well, if this ball game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front without question. Now here is Sykes. Happy to see that one go in for her second make in five attempts. Even at 5'9", no fear from Sykes. She plays way bigger than her height. Tremendous heart. Now here's Boyd outside Durr. Charles, and they double up Tina Charles. That one, good for two. When it comes to scoring in the paint, Tina Charles is as good as anyone in the history of this league. Has every post move in the book. Here's Billings. Pass to Montgomery. And she's going for the alley-oop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt right there. She makes another one. That's four up and four in to start her game. Tough make. You don't end up making over 2,000 baskets out, like Charles without some hard ones. And the dream call time here. You look at Charles, and she's been playing really well. She has absolutely worn them out in the paint. You need to come up with a plan to limit the damage she's doing inside. Brittany Sykes on the wing, guarded by Durr. And there's the foul, it's on Nurse. That's her first foul. Sykes, guarded by Durr. 
Freeland left side. Montgomery outside. Just four to shoot. For three. Drops in the tray. A strong competitor who won't back down from a challenge. Contested shots just don't really bother Montgomery. Now here's Nurse. Seven points in the game. Here's Boyd. The basket drops and she gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up for her. And that's what they're hanging their hat on today, fellas. Hard nose play on the low block. I love that. Me too. It's old fashioned. Reminds me of when we played. I mean, old fashioned pound the rock basketball, and it's working well. And they're getting more free throw points here in the second quarter. One of the reasons they're in front right now, definitely. Yo, watch it, watch it. Pass to Coates. Hayes up top. McCautry outside. She can't get that one. Great D that time from Tina Charles. Here's Nurse. The rebound by Coates. Yeah, she's been off her game this quarter. Just hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go down. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Plays with good energy and good excitement. Breland brings it every night she's out there. Now here's Boyd. Five points in the game. A nice shot by Durr. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Here's Montgomery. Six-point game. Pass to Breland. Hayes. Fires for three. Laces one from three. An offensive powerhouse. When Hayes is feeling it, she has the range to stretch the floor. Outside Charles. And here is Boyd, covered by McCautry. Zowie B down low. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Running effective pick and rolls is only a small part of what makes Boyd a premier point guard in this league. Now here's Montgomery. Here's McCautry. And Durr pulls it in. Well, got it in close, but credit the tight defense for forcing the miss. Defense like that ups the degree of difficulty on that shot by about what? Uh, I'd say 300%? 308% maybe. Okay, I like that. Charles with it. Breland defending. Here's Durr. Good on the three-point shot. With the appropriate range and release to sink from downtown, Durr is without a doubt a skilled shooter. Now here is Breland. Six points for her. Here's Hayes. It's good for her fourth bucket of the game. She's shooting four for eight. After struggling in the first quarter, she has come alive here in the second. Outside Boyd. To the middle. Charles misses the layup. Montgomery with it. For three, Tiffany Hayes. Got it off in time, but it's no good. Well, playing with great effort on D. Nurse, you know, she's a big guard. Six feet with length. It makes her capable as an on-the-ball defender. And so we've reached the end of the first half of play. Liberty out in front, up six. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter after the break.
Welcome back. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Really an incredible game from Tina Charles. Her rebounding, particularly the offensive rebounding, was superb in the first half. She was really battling hard inside. And that allowed them to get several shots on the same possession multiple times. I mean, her work on the offensive glass has been invaluable. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Montgomery outside. Pass to McCautry. Tiffany Hayes on the wing. From the top of the key, make it 5 for 10 for her with that bucket. And so it's New York with it. A four-point game. Asia Durr on the wing. Now Charles, covered by McCautry. It doesn't go for her. And the dream going the other way now. Montgomery outside. Pass to Hayes. Reeland. Here's McCautry. The rebound by Charles. And the Liberty with possession here. They lead by four. Nurse outside. Fader on the way. Charles no good. The Dream on offense. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Now here's Montgomery, guarded by Charles. The shot will not fall. Good work defensively by Brittany Boyd. To the inside, Charles. An easy two points on the layup. Garnering so much attention from the defense herself, so Durr plays with her head up and finds open teammates. Now here is McCautry. She's got six. Poked away and stolen by Durr. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. Nurse with the bucket. That's just what should happen off of the steal. Get it immediately into transition. And that's the perfect time to do it. Those few seconds right after the turnover, there's no time for the defense to get organized. Absolutely, and well executed on the break. Montgomery with it. Boyd covering. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to McCautry. 4-3. The shot, no good. It just hasn't been an ideal start to the second half. They've missed three of their first four. Let's a floater go. Boyd can't get it to go. That's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always so important to have that strong interior defense. Montgomery outside. On the wing, Angel McCautry. And too long on the shot. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something she should try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it more. Now here's Nurse. They lead by eight. That's the biggest margin of the game. Good on the bucket. And she should thank the D for those two points. Nobody really paying much attention to her there. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Breland. McCautry. To stop the drought. Knocks down the three. An area of McCautry's game she continues to develop, but she's never been one to back down from challenges. Now here's Boyd. She's got five. And here is Nurse. That's good D by Tiffany Hayes. Montgomery outside. Hayes defended by Nurse. On the wing, Angel McCautry. 
Freeland outside. Here's McCautry. That one rolling around and rims out. The shot's just not dropping for her today. Pass to Zawibi. Tries it from nine. Left side, Charles. It's stolen by Breland. Montgomery. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. A nice shot by Boyd. Atlanta calls timeout. Coach saw that the players were getting a little run down out there. The timeout should give them a little energy back. Dream Trail. Now Bentley. Quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. Pass to McCautry. Six to shoot. Tipped away. Now here's Hartley. Right, defended by Bentley. Here's Johannes. Inside. Gray. Goes back up. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Well, it's always good to take advantage of over-eager defenders. Now, Gray is smart and keeps the opponents on their toes. Shooting two. And she makes the first. A second round pick in the 2015 WNBA draft. Rashonda Gray has been a bit of an underdog in this league. She's been getting better each season though. And I think that she could become a premier talent pretty soon. Both good at the line. And with Gray slipping into the first round back in 2015, Brian, would that give you any added motivation to succeed in the pros? Definitely, Blake. For Gray, she's got to have that same mindset. Believe in yourself and show the world what you can do. I believe in her dedication towards being a star in this league. Four on the shot clock. Here's Sykes. Cans the 12-footer. Great to see the mid-range still used. Sykes loves this area of the court. It really fits her game. New York in the lead. Here's Johannes. She's got five. To the middle. The putback. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's been a gritty performance and a physical brand of basketball, but hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. Now here is Bentley. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Rebound by Gray. And it's New York's ball. Pass to Hartley. Here's Johannes. She's guarded by Sykes. 
And here is Zowie B. And two shots coming up at the line as she gets fouled on the shot. And Atlanta gets called for the foul. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she can't get the first one. And she sinks the second. Sykes with the ball. Eight points for her. Amanda Zawibi with the block. Plus eight in the rebound differential. Oh, one more reason they have absolutely just controlled this game. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative for sure. And it started out with the rebounding. It sets a tone. Now here is Bentley looking for her first basket still in this one. Sykes with the ball. Gray picks her up. Here's McCautry. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. She is going to buy herself a ticket to the bench if she keeps shooting like she has this quarter so far. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. And Atlanta has possession. They trail by 14. New York with the rebound. This has not been a quarter to remember for her. I mean, what's going on right now? What is this? She's not making any sort of impact for them at that end of the court. Now here's Hartley. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Zowie B, Elizabeth Williams with the rebound. And she continues to search for her rhythm. It's eluded her so far. Sykes outside. Pass to Bentley. Williams covered by Zowie B. Here's Billings. Clock at six. From deep three-point range, they get it back. Now McCautry. Again, Angel McCautry missing. And it's Tanisha Wright penetrating. Lays it up and banks it in. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They got to score. McCautry outside to stop the run. No good off the back of the rim. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team, and that 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around. Six seconds separating the shot and game box. Here's Bentley. It's rebounded by Wright. They can guarantee this is the last possession of the quarter if they hold on to it. And I think that's probably what they'll do. Chalk up a few more points for them. This has been a one-sided game in just every area. Absolutely. Their defense, their offense, it's all been outstanding. It's just been a, a tremendous performance, Brian. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Liberty out in front, delivering the blowout. And coming up as soon as we return from the break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Welcome back, fourth quarter of action starting up in what has been a one-side show. And here is Hartley. Pass to Durr. Charles. Gray outside. 
Just five to shoot. It's stolen by Bentley. Here's Sykes. Soft touch off the glass. Off into the open court, Sykes able to complete the fast break, enjoys getting to run. Now right. Hartley outside. Back to right. Three-pointer. And the Liberty get it back. You know, their, their offensive rebound, it's been a big story today. And even with the big lead, they're still showing more hustle on the boards. And it's Hayes missing. They've shown some strength in the paint. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, and that's putting it mildly, guys. They've been absolutely dominant. And it's good for two. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 points coming off assists. Nothing makes a coach happier than a display of pure, selfless teamwork. Absolutely. Bentley, she's guarded by Hartley. Alex Bentley goes in. She's off on that one. Great D that time from Tina Charles. Hartley, good. Good pass work. The assist was right on target. Now here is Bentley. Hey, come here. Pass to Hayes. Here's Billings, guarded by Charles. Oh, draws the hard foul, and she'll head to the line. It's going to go on Tanisha Wright. At the line for your Atlanta dream. Monique Billings taking two shots. Two shots. And the first one falls for her. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And we're around two minutes into the fourth here. Hartley outside, pass to Durr. Now here's Charles. Here's Nurse. They shoot again. No luck, they battled on the glass, but just couldn't knock it down. Now here is Hayes, defended by Nurse. And here's Breland. Outside Hayes, just five on the clock. Over Gray, up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. She didn't luck into that one. She knew just where to be when the shot went up. Nurse outside. Down low. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket for a terrific assist. You know, they've done a lot of that today. And you know, it's something we haven't seen much at the opposite end of the court. The offensive rebound. A shot by Montgomery, no good. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's been the result for her over and over. I mean, she just cannot find the bottom of the bucket. Pass to Billings. Hayes with it. Gray defending. Here's Billings. Back to Montgomery. A beautiful reverse layup. A steady presence around the rim. Montgomery and her team will gladly take those shots. And here is Nurse. Hartley. Renee Montgomery with the steal. Here's Breland. Uses the glass to finish the layup. A great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, exploding to the bucket just as soon as that ball was going the other way. New York calls timeout. Next team, 
They could tell their players were dragging a bit and called timeout to let them catch their breaths. Both teams changing it up here. Here's Boyd. Pass to Durr. Charles with it. Here's Nurse. Knocks down the trifecta. And she had one in the first as well. And look, we all know that she can be dangerous from downtown. So the defense can't forget about her. Outside Hayes. With the floater. The shot comes out. Well, you love the tough D, especially inside. And that's exactly what she gives you, Tim. Constantly making her presence felt around the rim. McCautry outside. Outside Hayes. Coates. Montgomery outside. And Durr is going to pick up the foul. That'll be her second foul of the game. Kotri with it. Six to shoot. Freeland rejected by Tina Charles. Swatted away. Charles, one of the best ever at rejecting opponents. Incredible work rate defensively. Here's Nurse. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. It's going to be on Angel McCotry. Two shots. Foul. Two. At the line for the Key Nurse. At the line for two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the stripe. And so here's Atlanta. Knocked loose. Boyd with the steal. Nurse outside. Pass to Boyd. Charles. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Way to work the glass, buffet style. Everyone grab a plate. Second chance buckets, they can make a big difference. McCautry with it. Breland. Outside Hayes. Five on the clock. McCautry outside. Over Durr. Knocked away. Switching baskets must have really thrown her off because she can't get anything to fall this half. Out to the right wing. Now here's Boyd. Defense right on her. From deep. And the shot clock expires. 
great D to stop him cold. So it's both teams making substitutions here. They're not having much success at all right now. They need to reshuffle their lineup a little bit, try to find something that works. Pass to Gulich. Here's Coffey. Here's Kazorla. Makes it off the glass. The point in the paint. Kazorla has those little moves that allow her to finish near the rim. Here's Johannes to the left wing. Here's Sue. And that one goes long. Here's Coffey. Steps back and fires, and the shot goes in. Wow, and she doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Here's Johannes. Pass to Allen. Here's Sue, covered by McCautry. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. From past the arc, no good. Now the Dream take it the other way. Here's Coffee. Kept alive. To the paint, Gulich. And another shot, and it's good on the layup. They'll take as many of those high percentage shots as they can make. And it's New York's ball. Earlier in the game, they held a 25 point lead. Pass to Sue. Now here's Nurse. Johannes, five to shoot. Nurse outside. Nails the tray! Give her another. She might be a point guard, but Nurse can light it up herself. Her diverse skill set can lead to big nights. Pass to Coates. McCautry up top. To the inside. Here's Coates. Shoots the three. And Angel McCautry with the three. The rapid fire three is coming from everywhere. I wasn't sure they should try to get the three right back like that, but hey, it worked out for them. Pass to Sue. Allen, covered by McCautry. There's the three. Gulich with the rebound. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Count that one. This run really not doing them any good, coming as late as it has. Yeah, but give them credit for showing the fight they're showing, Tim. It would have been real easy to just throw in the towel by now. Yeah, but it's still gonna be a loss probably. Here's Nurse, sweet little floater. What fantastic touch from Nurse. It's a huge ace up her sleeve. The ability to put it in the hoop from inside. McCautry outside. And so New York takes this one by a big margin. And this one was all over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, but they never got it. Yeah, I mean, they rolled to this win. They made it look simple and efficient performance at both the offensive and defensive ends. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.